Exam week getting you down? What you need is to put down that notebook and take in some of the beauties of nature. See what I mean? Wait a minute, young lady. How did you get into this picture? Look at your hair. Sorry, there must have been a mistake. You don't seem to be exactly the type to make this guy behave like a human being. Let's start all over again. Oh, brother. Oh, brother is right. Look at that hair. I'm going to talk to you this morning about the way you look. Now, I've heard it said that we women attach too much importance to our appearance. But that isn't true. After all, the way we look exerts so much influence on the way we feel and on the way other people feel about us that it really is very important. Welcome to the second National Whisker in His Ladies Face Beard and Mustache Competition. If you'd have told me eight years ago when I quit shaving that I'd be emceeing a ladies fake mustache contest, I would have said that sounds just about right. It's a big night and I'm super excited. Oh, awesome beards are showing up. I mean, obviously they spent a lot of time on it. You know, I have to say they think it's a bit strange and unusual. But I have a big family that come very bearded and very lovely, and so they're supportive of it. Some are kind of confused by it, but then a lot of them really like it. They think I'm technically insane. But um, it's a really great community where at home, everybody thinks I'm weird. Here, everybody loves it. They're pretty supportive, oddly enough, for being pretty Republican. <laughs> They thought it was maybe a little odd, but they also know I might be a little odd myself. They laugh, but then they see what I do, and they're impressed. And my group of friends say, oh my god, that's disgusting. Your chin is going to be reeking of cheese for months. And I said, oh, I think I'm okay with that. I don't wear perfume, so cheese smells pretty good to me. It doesn't matter just what hairstyle you use, as long as it looks right on you. Just be sure your hairdo suits you and that your hair is neatly in place. What do you got going on here? Um, uh, this is lichen that I gathered from the forest of Oregon. Lichen? <laughs> it smells very nice. Can I smell it? Oh, it smells pretty good. <laughs> We're staying at the Golden Nugget and we talked to some guys with beards and they invited us so we thought we needed mustaches. I just like thick full beards. They're very um, masculine, very uh, sexy. My friend actually made it for me. It's uh, made out of felt. I like, I'm a caricature artist by trade and I like to draw beards at our local Beard and Stash Brotherhood meetings. Uh, that's how I heard about it and I love wearing beards, all I have. My husband and I, we used to have horses and uh, I got long hair so I thought, he's in the competition tomorrow, I'm going to join in the fun. I uh, appreciate this beard and then I also, my boyfriend is entering the uh, beard and mustache competition tomorrow so he trimmed his beard so I took some parts of his beard and stuck them in here to make it, um, I don't know, just to add some stuff. And then this is part of my hair that I grabbed off of a hairbrush. And do you have any inspiration for your facial hair? Well, I'm, I'm always inspired by this facial hair, always. There's no place like Nationals. There's no place like Nationals. There's no place like Nationals. <laughs> I would have wished for some heat, but that's cool. Natural hair beauty is possible if you take care of your hair and make the most of what nature has given you. Can you sing a line from one of your one of your most famous famous songs? The ace of space! The ace of space!
don't know what it is, but there's something about her you like. Well, she always looks nice to start with. Yeah, especially when you compare her with some of the weird characters in this place. Yoo-hoo! Yeah! <laughs> Holy sh**! <laughs> David! <laughs> Well, my beard is made out of doilies that were made by my great great grandmother. <laughs> all you gotta do is give her all your stuff and she'll give you knowledge. Um, I'm a banana tree and these monkeys want my bananas. I don't, I don't believe that's real money. That's Steve. There's Mike. Love it? Yeah! <laughs> that sounded like a command to love it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. I'm into it. <laughs> My mustache is so huge that I have uh, these birds helping me carry it along the way. Look at the shadow! Look at that piece! That's incredible! Those are real pheasant feathers? They sure are. Yes. destroyed a pheasant to take a tail. Oh, we ate it too. <laughs> Fuck yeah! It's sort of awkward, but... Is it, a, is it salty? You wanna try it? <laughs> yes. I am the fabulosity bearding gnome. This is the tree you catch a beard, and it will protect all of your beards from bad dreams. What is this? Oh, this is made from my mother's nylon. What is your favorite part about being a mustache cap? The absurdity. <laughs> that was good. Well, it's nearly time for your next class, so I must stop talking. But there's one more thing that I'd like to say, and that is, don't copy. Not hairstyles or mannerisms or anything else. Not from anybody, in or out of Hollywood. Get ideas from people, certainly. But be sure they're ideas that can be adapted to your own personality. After all, each of you is an original. And an original is always more valuable than a copy, whether it be paintings, or hats, or girls. So this year, I'm a BMX rider. I own a bike company called Failure. And a lot of my friends have been injured this year in BMX. It's a dangerous sport. And uh, there's a group called the Athlete Recovery Fund. And it's a nonprofit organization that helps out critically injured athletes for skateboarding, BMX, snowboarding. And uh, tonight's charity, all the money that you guys pay tonight, it's going toward that charity. So give a round of applause for the Athlete Recovery Fund. <laughs>